We continue our series looking at three players who could potentially be on the move at every position in Major League Baseball. Today, that position is center field. Let's get into it. What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Latacuente here for the Baseball Banter Broadcast. And as I said in the open, we're looking at three center fielders who could be on the move. So we begin with number three. Now the first center fielder who could be on the move from the Cincinnati Reds is Nick Senzel. I think there's an opportunity for the Reds to try to maximize their return on this player's investment. I think that there's an opportunity if the Reds are looking to be able to try to continue making moves to boost their farm system to be able to build for the future, trading a guy like Nick Senzel could bring them back quite a bit of a return. I think there's a lot to really like about this player. He has the ability to be able to play center field and play it quite well in my opinion. I think there's going to be a team out there that is looking to contend and compete over the next two to three seasons that Senzel could absolutely jump in and be a part of postseason run over the next few years. For the Cincinnati Reds, I don't think that their window is going to be approaching anytime soon. So being able to get some value back for a guy like Senzel will absolutely benefit them. As we look at the second player on my list, it is Ramon Liriano of the Oakland A's. Oakland has found themselves on this list quite a bit throughout the different positions that we're looking at. And I think that when you look at what Ramon Liriano can provide a team, this is a defensive stalwart in center field who has a little bit of ability at the plate. Now we don't know exactly how much of his PED suspension had to do with his boost and offensive performance over the last couple of seasons, but there's an opportunity that he can potentially tie on to a new team, get a new idea, new philosophy from a new hitting coach, and really start to blossom as an offensive player on top of being the defensive wizard that he is in center field. I think there's an opportunity for a contending team or a team that's just on the fringe, maybe like a Philadelphia, who could absolutely use some help in center field. As we know that Philadelphia Phillies, for example, are a team that has a lot to be desired when it comes to defensive metrics. So being able to bring in a guy who can cover more ground in center could absolutely help them. But Ramon Leary Mariano isn't just limited to the Philadelphia Phillies. There are quite a number of teams who could absolutely use his services, and that to me is part of the reason why he makes this list. And as we look at the number one center fielder who, in my opinion, could potentially be on the move, although less likely than the other two, Cattell Marte of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Cattell just signed a extension with the Diamondbacks. And I think that while there is a lot to be desired for his current team standings, the Diamondbacks to me aren't going to be in a position to truly be able to compete in that division. I think the Dodgers, Giants, and Padres are far and away better than what the Diamondbacks are at this present moment. And while the next coming couple of seasons may see some change in those organizations I don't think that there's going to be enough of a change to be able to see the Diamondbacks truly raise up to the level that the Dodgers Giants and Padres find them in they're to me the fourth best team in this division at best even though there are things to start really being encouraged by with like I said pitching coach Brett Strom someone that we covered here earlier in the season I think there is an opportunity that if Cattell Marte is made available by the Arizona Diamondbacks the Kings ransom that could be had for a player like this would absolutely bring the Diamondbacks much closer to the best that they could possibly be in this division. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your thoughts, your feelings on this down in the comment section below. Who are your choices for potential center fielders to be moved by the trading deadline in this 2022 Major League Baseball season? Let me know all these things down in the comment section below or find me over on Twitter at jlatacuente19 to keep the conversation rolling. As always, keep it locked into the entire JLMG family with We Sip, the Grain and Geek Show, and of course here on the Baseball Banter Broadcast. For sticking around to this point, head over to baseballbanterbroadcast.com, our merchandise shop, Use the promo code BANTER to save 5% off your order. Keep it locked in all season as we continue to round out this series here, looking at three players who could potentially be on the move from every position, as well as the latest news, notes, and my personal thoughts, theories, and opinions on the game of Major League Baseball. Peace.